Well, the NFL is about magical moments, and we're about to have one here. It was the greatest collection of football talent ever assembled. To be blunt, there was Mean Joe and Iron Mike, Captain America and Primetime, Jim Brown and LT, Emmett, Barry, Jerry, and Fitz. The legends embraced the cheers in Hard Rock Stadium like rock stars soaking up one last encore. The NFL was honoring its all-time team. It was as if the busts in the Hall of Fame had come to life for the ultimate road trip. Among all the greats stood two players who seemed larger than life. The king of quarterbacks was on the same soil where more than 30 years earlier, he had performed one of his miracles. And a prince worthy to inherit the throne was right behind him. Fitting, because since he was a little boy, Tom Brady had followed Joe Montana. And with us today, we have Tommy Brady. The play is known as the catch. But four-year-old Tommy, who was in Candlestick Park that day watching the 1981 NFC Championship game, likely was more impressed with the throw. Looking to throw, and he throws into the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown! The kid from San Mateo wanted to be his idol. 15-year-old Tom also was on hand to witness Joe's final touchdown pass as a 49er. But Montana and Brady share much more than their ties to the Bay Area. Coming out of high school, both quarterbacks could have pursued a career in a different sport. Joe turned down a basketball scholarship from North Carolina State to attend Notre Dame. Tom was a left-handed hitting catcher drafted by the Montreal Expos before he opted for football at Michigan. When Joe arrived in South Bend in 1974, he found himself seventh on the depth chart, just like Tom in Ann Arbor 22 years later. Both were part of a national championship team. And in what would be a sign of things to come for decades, Montana guided the Irish back from an almost certain defeat. Both saved their best for last. Touchdown, Tom Brady leads the Wolverines back. Montana's final college pass came with no time remaining to help Notre Dame win the 1979 Cotton Bowl. Brady's last throw for Michigan was a touchdown in overtime to help the Wolverines win the 2000 Orange Bowl. Neither was a high draft pick. When Montana showed up in San Francisco sporting a Fu Manchu, Dwight Clark thought he was a kicker. And how about Brady's combine footage? The gangly kid in shorts with no muscle tone or tan registered a 40 time that Rich Eisen might best. Time also stood still for them once their NFL careers began. They stood on the sideline, waiting to become the starter. When they did, each wasted no time winning a Super Bowl. So Tom Brady throws his first ever Super Bowl touchdown pass. And they kept winning. There could have been little doubt that Joe Montana would be the most valuable player. Three out of four. Yes, it's a dynasty. Between them, they have 10 Super Bowl rings. Is he the best that ever played? I'm one that votes yes. Seven Super Bowl MVP awards. What a throw by Brady! And five league MVPs. And in the middle of their careers, they each won the NFL Comeback Player of the Year Award. Which only makes sense because coming back... Tom Terrific does it again! Especially when time is short and the stakes are high, is what they'll be remembered for most. 78-yard touchdown pass with 42 seconds remaining. Dick Schapp once wrote this of Montana, but the same sentiment applies to Brady. It would be unfair and inaccurate to say that Joe Montana was not affected by pressure. He was. With a minute and 39 seconds left. Under pressure, he played better. Throws, 
into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers! The significance of a situation never awed him, only consumed and inspired him. Aaron Montana throwing for the end zone. He's got it! Touchdown, 49ers! Hey, that's John Candy. Back to throw Montana. Stepped up, throws. Touchdown, 49ers! Gonna be a hell of a story. Hell yeah. And yes, the score was 28 to 3 late in the third quarter. And it was a hell of a story. Hey, no fear! No fear! Cut it loose! It's money time for the greatest guy to ever suit it up. They have completed the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history. And you wonder if this might be his last game in a 49er uniform. We want to! The greatest quarterback of all time could be in his last game at Gillette. Can it really end? It seemed inconceivable that their stories would end with them playing for a new team. But after 14 years in San Francisco, Montana became a chief. He played two seasons in Kansas City, still displaying that Montana magic. Willie Davis, touchdown Kansas City! Kansas City takes the lead with eight seconds left. He reached, but lost, an AFC Championship game. After 20 years in New England, Brady is a Buccaneer. It sounds strange. It looks strange. So why, at age 43, is he starting over? Gotta put him on, boys. Well, the man with six Super Bowl rings once said his favorite is the next one. And Brady, like Montana and the millions of fans who followed them both for so many years, always is hoping for one more fairy tale ending.